Hello everybody, um, in this video we'll do a drop test study um, on this simple cell phone assembly in which consists of the, uh, the case and the screen um, made of glass. So the drop test study is going to evaluate the effect of uh, dropping the model on a rigid floor or it could be also flexible floor so let's go to simulation and let's create a new study and under the um, specialized simulation section we'll select drop test we can keep the default name study name so now we are inside the drop test um, simulation interface um, so the the first thing that we have to do is let's apply some um, materials to the uh, to the cell phone. So if you see, we have two bodies here. So the, the first one is the screen, and the second one is the the rest of the cell phone is the body. So for the glass, we're going to apply an edit material. And uh, we're going to make this um, glass. So under glass. Um, so if you click on glass, you notice that the tensile stress information is missing. So we need that information in order to um, do the whole simulation and compare the safety factor. So, so we're going to right click and copy that material. Let's go to... Uh, custom materials and let's create a new category. We can rename this uh, custom glass, hit enter and um, right click and click on paste. So now we are able to uh, enter the um, any information that is required for the simulation. So for this uh, uh, sample problem we're going to make this um, let's make this 500 psi on the tensile stress make sure the psi units are selected otherwise you will need to go here and select the right unit and let's hit apply and close now let's go to the body of the cell phone apply edit material and uh, for this one here we can select the aluminum um, any aluminum will will work uh, let's do the 20 24 t4 apply and close so now we have the material selected let's uh, work on the um, on the mesh so right click on mesh and create mesh I'm going to um, I'm going to modif um, modify the mesh size right here um, for the uh, for the global size. I'm gonna make this uh, 10 millimeters, and for the minimum dimension, I'm just going to make this uh, 0 0.1. And um, let's see on the advance uh, under mesh quality uh, for to speed up the calculation process I'm going to select draft but if the uh, time is not an issue um, you can select on high it'll just keep in mind that the calculation time is gonna increase considerably so um, so once we do that we can um, click OK and um, and we can see that the uh, the mesh is not very um, has a low quality, um, but for demonstration purposes, that that is sufficient. Okay, so now let's go to setup, and uh, let's right click on setup and click on define edit. Uh, we have two options: we can specify the drop height or the velocity at at the impact. Um, you can do either or and um, for this problem we'll do a velocity at impact so if you have drop height you need to specify the height 
and also um, from which location so from centroid will be somewhere around here and then or the lower lowest point will be around that area so just keep that in mind for for this problem we'll do velocity at impact and um, let's change this to um, inches per second and the um, the direction of the we're just gonna select any um, straight edge downwards so we know that's the direction of the uh, of the cell phone hitting the floor and um, the velocity will make this uh, 50 inches per second we're also going to include the uh, gravity and let's select the top plane and gravity um, we can change that direction by clicking on that uh, the rest of the um, options we can keep it the way it is we have uh, two options here rigid target target which is um, a rigid floor or flexible that that will be used for um, maybe if you have a carpet or a wood type of material that is not rigid but for our case we're assuming this is a rigid floor and after we have that we can um, we can hit okay so the um, let's go to the next option which is results option right click define and edit um, right here uh, we would like to know the um, what is the um, condition of the cell phone after how many uh, after your um, a certain amount of seconds or microseconds keep in mind the the higher this number is the longer the calculation is going to take so for our purposes we're just going to make this at 30 microseconds so we're going to study the condition of the cell phone after up to 30 microseconds after the uh, impact um, that's all we have to do here um, and let's hit OK okay so we are also introducing the sensors in the um, on this problem so basically a sensor is going to give us uh, information at any particular location um, on this cell phone so let's say you want to know the condition of um, of the mirror at this particular location we can add sensors here to tell us the stress for example so so for that we need to go back to the model and let's click on the uh, on the mirror and let's create a quick sketch select rectangle and this is just to um, um, so we can place the we can use these corners to place the the sensors we can even um, you can provide dimensions if you want we can make this um, can make that 13 inches uh, I'm, uh, I mean 13 millimeters and uh, let's hit okay now we'll convert that to um, to split line and select that hit okay so now these are two different faces and uh, let's go to the uh, sensors section here and we can add a sensor uh, for the sensor type we're going to use the simulation data and the uh, data quantity um, we can use the workflow sensitive um, information and under properties we are going to select the four points you can have as many points as you want let's say if you want to record a um, any information at this location you can add another um, dot at that location for now we can use this and um, we can see here that we have four points selected and um, let's hit okay 
So now let's go back to the drop test. And um, under the um, result options, um, we can now select here the uh, workflow sensitive. Um, just pick the, the, the highest one. Um, this case will be two. And let's hit OK. And let's create a uh, the mesh with the new setup. Okay. So after we have the um, all the setup for the simulation, we are ready to uh, start the calculation, and uh, we can hit on, on run this study. And you'll get this message. This is basically telling you that the mesh quality is uh, is very low, and we agree on that, so we can just hit yes. Um, and now we just need to wait for the calculation to finish. The simulation has been completed, and um, let's go to the uh, von Mises stress. We can see right here that the maximum uh, von Mises stress is a 5480 at some location. Um, we can see that that's happening at the bottom of the cell phone where the clash location is. Um, if you recall, uh, there were 4.4 sensors placed at the, um, at the screen section, at the glass section. So, so let's analyze what the stresses are, are at those locations. So let's go to results and we're going to click on define time history plot. And we can see the four nodes right here that we selected, that we created at the beginning. We can change the units here and um, let's hit OK. So let me go back to, um, let me go back to the, so on the X axis, we're going to have uh, the time and on the Y axis, um, we're going to specify the stress, the von Mises stress in PSI. So let's hit OK. So after you hit OK, we get this graph. And these are the um, four lines at the four locations that we uh, created at the beginning. And uh, on the X axis, we have the 30 microseconds that we um, specify in the on the setup phase. And then on the Y axis, we have the von misses in PSI. So if you can see right here, the maximum is around, it's around 2,500 PSI, uh, which is um, higher than the, um, the glass tensile um, number that we enter at the beginning of the um, setup. So if you notice here, so we start at zero time in microsecond units. And um, as we keep going, the stress, the stress uh, is going up as well. And, um, and this is that 29.99, which is the uh, 30 microseconds that we specify. So um, this means that the glass section at this four location these four points more likely is going to fail. And this is how you will do uh, a uh, drop test analysis using um, sensors on this particular model. Thank you for watching.